Hi everybody, thank you for watching the video. As you can see, this is my deadlift workout from May 13th of 2020. Um, I would say this is more on the kind of in the middle towards the back end of this training cycle. Uh, well, the goal for this particular week was to hit some volume with some intensity. Um, wanted to kind of replicate my training that I did two weeks ago. I hit 560. 561 for six and five so i wanted to replicate that with this uh same um the same rep scheme but obviously with a higher intensity with 576 so uh, i was able to hit that however i wasn't able to hit my third rep for 600 for a single um i definitely just uh contribute that to just pushing it to the max when it comes to my first two sets and uh you know, I'm okay with that, right? Because the thing is, is that the strength is going to build through the volume and the capacity that you have. That is what's going to build your strength. That is the foundation. So I'd much rather push it on the front end when it comes to the reps and, uh, you know, kind of uh, give it all my all in that aspect. And then, um, you know, obviously whatever I have left in the tank, I'll push on a third set if I actually have that. So obviously that wasn't in the tank today, but like I said, that is completely okay. Um... So yeah, overall, definitely uh, in the right direction when it comes to the numbers that I need to hit um, as far as for my training. Um, definitely, definitely uh, something to uh, be positive about. Not content, but positive about. But like I said, we're going definitely going in the right direction. Definitely a bounce back, I would definitely say, from last week's particular training. So um, again, just heading in the right direction. So uh i'm actually down 180 to 187 pounds so before i started uh my weight cut actually i was at 195 i was walking around at 195 um so already lost eight pounds um on this weight cut so far and you know uh i think the big testament to my training um has been just doing the weight cut slowly so that it's not affecting my strength um they do say however for powerlifters your last lift to go when it comes to a weight cut is your deadlift. So obviously that's a big benefit for me. Um, and it's a big benefit for me because I do significantly better as far as performing uh, with my leverages when I'm actually skinnier. Um, I was actually able to go down a whole notch on my belt uh, very comfortably, um, which I felt like was definitely essential for my training, uh, which is an easy indicator of obviously the weight I'm losing. But I feel like it's uh, it's also benefiting, benefiting my performance as well. Um, and definitely, you know, right back to, I would say about 80% of the way there when it comes to just being in contest shape. Um, so that's definitely a plus, but I'm just definitely heading in the right direction, you know? Um, and these little steps are what makes the drive, the hunger, the passion so important. And, um, you know, I, I just want to get back to where I was you know, uh, as far as just being at my absolute best, I feel like I'm in the right direction. I don't believe I'm there yet. Um, so I still have a lot of work to do. Um, but like I said, without question, we're definitely heading in the right direction. And, you know, um, it's been a long, it's been quite a journey, but I feel like, you know, I enjoy the journey. I enjoy the challenge. The challenge for me right now is to get back to where I was, right? The challenge is not to beat myself. To beat myself currently. But within that challenge of beating myself currently is to get back to my best form. And that is a path that I'm on and that I embark on every single day with every single aspect of my day to day life all contributes to that. When I eat, when I sleep, when I train, how I'm training, I you know, all those things play such a major role and a major factor that in my mind, in my eyes, has been the contribution to just the middle, the little steps I'm taking, the incremental steps I'm taking to get back to where I was. Everybody has to understand that in order to progress, especially at this level, it's something that it doesn't happen overnight. If it's something you really want, you're going to be consistent at it. But you are going to take in those little incremental steps to get to where you are. And 
you know, like I said, just with this performance today, definitely shows that there's definitely more work to be done, but definitely heading in the right direction. And I have to keep that momentum. Consistency is your best friend when it comes to anything obtaining a goal, an objective that you have in your life personally or as an individual. And for me, I feel like I'm definitely going in that right direction. And I want to push. I definitely want to push. I feel like uh, physically, this is now the right time. Um, you know, um, I'm already a year post injury. Well, no, not not entirely. I would say as far as recovery, I'm, I would say I'm about, I don't know, maybe four to five months off of being fully recovered and still have a lot of work to do. Um, overall, I definitely feel like I'm, like I said, I'm definitely heading in the right direction and I just want to keep at this pace. I want to keep at this pace. Um, you know, I, at first I was like, I felt like I was going to just not be competing in 181 anymore. I felt like I was like, I'm going to have to just compete at 198 now. But then I told myself, nah, fuck that. No, I'm not going to just let what's going on define my success in the direction that I want to go in. I'm going to dictate that. I'm going to be the person behind the wheel driving that direction. I'm not going to let everything else dictate it for me. I will dictate that. And I think that that's something that everybody has to keep in mind. You dictate the outcome of your success, whether it's your, your fail at your goal or you achieve it. You dictate that. You are in behind the wheel when it comes to that path. You cannot just let life dictate everything for you. You want it that badly, you have to understand that you're going to have to make your own way. The example I like to give is this. If you go to the supermarket, for example, right? If you go to the supermarket, you see that you have aisles, right? You have aisles and everybody goes in those directions, right? Everybody follows those directions. But let's say instead of going all the way to the end of the aisle to get around to the other aisle, what if you just wanted to push through? It's not easy. It's not easy. You can create your own path to push through instead of going all the way down to the aisle, coming all the way around and then going all the way back just to get to the other side. You could just push right through. It's not it's not easy though. But you still can create your own path. And I believe that that's how you should think about it when it comes to a goal that you have. It's never going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody could do it. The challenge is still driving forward when you have all these op op obstacles in life that affect you personally, physically, mentally, and still pushing forward. I believe that if you really, really, really hone in on that mindset, it doesn't matter what's going on in your life, you can still push forward and you can still achieve your success because you want it that badly and that's what it all comes down to. This is something that I want bad. I want to prove to myself that I'm not a has-been. I want to prove to myself that the best of me was not behind me, but it's forward. But I need to do everything that I can now to get back to where I was. And that's the challenge. The challenge is to get back to that level is to get back to that that point. You know, the average individual, I feel that in my personal situation, would look back and say, you know what, I, the, my best years were behind me. I did enough, I did what I could, and that's it. I can't live like that. Because I feel right now, I still have a lot more to prove. And I have a lot more to give. And I'm willing to fight and claw my way very incrementally to get there. And it's not easy. It's not easy. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes because I want it that badly. It's a process. It's a process, no doubt. But I'm willing to go through that and push myself to my absolute limits 
to show you dictate your own path, you make the right choices, and you stay consistent with whatever is thrown at you in life. If you want it that badly, it will happen. And I believe I'm on that path. I will keep embarking on that path. And I will get to where I believe I was at my best. And when I get to that point, the next goal is to surpass that. Like I said, right now, my focus is obviously with what's going on. I don't have a competition coming up. However, it, there's no excuse for me not to be in competition shape. So that way, when the time comes, I'm already ready to go. I don't want to sit here and be like, all right, well, you know what? I can just sit back and relax and just take advantage of this opportunity. And then when the gyms open back up and everything, all right, now I get back in it. Hell no. Nope. I look at this as an opportunity to focus more on that goal more than ever. And there's no excuse why I shouldn't. So that way when this comes out, when this is all past, it's like you're letting a dog out of a freaking cage. I'm ready to go. And that's the pursuit that I have right now. It's been quite an interesting journey. And I have a lot more to do. And I'm happy that I have this journey and I have this path in front of me because it's what drives me. It's what drives me. It's what makes me excited to wake up every single day because I know that if I do exactly what I'm supposed to do today, it brings me one step closer to tomorrow. And it all starts right now. Every action, every choice, every meal, every set, every rep, every hour of sleep will dictate if I get one step closer to this goal or not. And I want to do whatever it takes to get back there. Right now, my eyes are set on, hopefully, with everything that's going on, it passes. There's another IPO Worlds this year, so I can go for six in a row. That is my goal. But that is not the main goal for me. The main goal for me is to give back to my best form and to surpass that. In a perfect world, I would like for it to line up with IPL Worlds. Regardless, I'm going to do that competition. Regardless. Because what I want to do as far as a personal objective for me when it comes to that competition in a perfect world, I would like to have those both of those things lined up. But it's one step at a time. So it's been quite an interesting journey. And right now, I need to focus on every set, every rep, every meal, every hour of sleep that I get. The choices are what matters. And that is my focus right now. You know, I'm really happy that I got back into just keeping a video diary of my training and giving myself my feedback on my performance because I believe that this aspect is what has been a big success for me personally as far as how I optimize and adjust my training. And I feel that I'm very I very thankful that I got back into this routine because this coach, for me, is what was a big help. So, I thank you guys for watching, who have been watching since way in the beginning, six, what, six years ago? And now to this point. But I feel like, without question, my best years are in front of me and not behind. So thank you guys for being on this journey and follow me. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'll put my uh, information down below. And stay consistent. Stay consistent and do not let everything in life dictate the direction of where you want to go. You dictate that. You are the driver 
you are not, you are not in that passenger seat. You are the one behind the wheel. You dictate where you want to go and everything will fall into place. So like I said, we're in the middle towards the back end of the training cycle. Um, I'm not looking to do any maxes or anything like that. I'd rather say that for the platform. I want to just focus on the, again, building that volume capacity and going from there. So <clears throat> I believe I do have a block pull training session coming up. So we'll see how that goes. And um, in the meantime, stay focused, stay consistent. As always, thank you guys for watching the video. Please stay safe, be consistent, believe in yourself, stay behind that wheel, and keep pushing forward. Take care.